This is a preview of the final result, the seamless underarm. Here is a side view of the same area. The gaps were closed neatly and securely and without any extra stitches. And this is how it works. There is a ragwan line ending on one side and another ragwan line ending on the other side. The underarm stitches were created here and then the body of the sweater was worked down and the sleeve was worked up. And these are two areas here and on the opposite side where the knitting changes direction and creates gaps that have to be closed. In this episode, I will share how to separate the stitches of the sleeves from the stitches of the body and how to cast on the underarm stitches. And I'll share all the knitting tips and tricks I use for the best result. Here I finished the upper part of the sweater and reached the area when I will start separating the sleeves from the body of the sweater and I can continue knitting separately the sleeves and the body. The sweater was started from this edge. I did the Italian cast on and then worked the double-sided twisted rib all the way until the neck opening where I did uh, the reinforced continuous neck transition and then continued the body of the sweater until this point. These are the markers of the center of the front and of the center of the back. And here are the stitches of the upper parts of the sleeves. They start from this yellow marker and continue all the way until the pink marker on this side and on the other side it's similar from this yellow marker at the front to this pink marker at the back. So these are the stitches of the other sleeve. Here are the stitches of the left sleeve from the pink marker all the way to the yellow marker and I'm going to now build a bridge between these two markers and that will be the underarm. It's going to look something like this so that I can continue working my sleeve in the round. And the other sleeve the same from the yellow marker at the front to the pink one at the back. I'm also going to build here a bridge of the underarm and continue working this sleeve in the round as well. And now between these two underarms, the one on the right and the one on the left, there will be the body of the sweater. I'm trying to squeeze it in so you can see everything. So I will continue working it in the round like this. Here between these two markers are the stitches of the upper part of the right sleeve and I will later on knit them using magic loop. So I've prepared this cable and I'm going to transfer the stitches to this cable. I attached a needle tip on one side and a stopper on the other side. Now I will transfer the stitches. I pull out the right hand needle to secure. And I can now take off this marker and transfer all the stitches onto the new cable. This is the last stitch of the upper part of the right sleeve. I remove the marker, just pull out this needle to secure, and I want to show it again. The stitches of the upper part of the right sleeve are now all on the new cable. I have a stopper on one end of that cable and I'm now going to replace 
this needle tip with another stopper. So there you go. I have stoppers on both ends and this is how it looks. The sleeve stitches are now secure on the cable with the stoppers on both ends. I'm going to do the provisional cast on on this needle tip, the right hand needle tip. It's the needle tip with the walking yarn. I will use this smooth cotton yarn and a hook. To make this possible, I'm going to turn this needle around like this, so I will work on the wrong side. First, I'm going to make a slip knot I go under the tail, over the working yarn, and pull the yarn through. That's my first chain. And then I take the needle tip to cast on the provisional stitches. It's the needle tip with the working yarn. And I will place this cotton like this, so the yarn tail stays near the needle tip and the working yarn is behind the needle, like this. And the hook in front. And then I go under the working yarn and pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Again, working yarn goes behind the needle, under the working yarn, pull through. I have two stitches. Again, working yarn behind the needle. The hook goes under, pulling through and repeat working yarn behind the needle under the working yarn pull through working yarn behind the needle under the working yarn pull through so now i finished casting on i have all the stitches i wanted two four six eight ten twelve in this case it's 12, but it can be any other number of stitches depending on the pattern. And I secure the last stitch by pulling the working yarn through the last chain on the hook. And cut it off. Remove my provisional yarn. Tighten a little bit here. And I also want to shorten this yarn tail, just for convenience. Now I'm going to take my other needle tip and I will transfer this cast on row onto this needle tip. Turn my work around. And again, I'm on the right side of my work. This is my right hand needle with the working yarn. And in my left hand, it's the left hand needle tip with the provisional cast on stitches. This is the beginning of the provisional cast on row. It was worked in this direction. And this is the end. And it's very important because later, when I work in the round my sleeve, 
I will be undoing this provisional custom stitches from this end, which is really easy to do. Now I'm bringing the two ends together. And I will simply knit into the provisional stitches. My first stitch I will tighten. And also, after I knit my second stitch, I will also tighten and keep the stitches closer to one another. And now I can finish knitting all the remaining stitches. Last stitch. So this is how it looks. And now I will join with the other side. Knit the first stitch. Tighten. Knit the following stitch and tighten again and continue knitting this is how it looks now next i'm going to use these two markers as safety pins to secure the corners this is the middle of the back of the sweater it's pink so just to make it match i'm using a pink marker i insert it into three stitches of the top of the sleeve on this side and then under one stitch of the body of the sweater and then i turn this marker a little bit and I like to go into 2-3 chains of the provisional cast on row. Something like this. It can be done in any direction. So, for example, like this and then whichever way it is convenient. Like that and one more stitch. And close the marker or the pin so it will prevent this corner from stretching and on the left side i'm using the yellow marker again i go into three stitches of the top of the sleeve on this side under one stitch of the body of the sweater and then turn it and insert through three stitches of the provisional cast on row like this and close it so now this corner is also going to be secured and I turn it like this, so there is less tension. And the same thing on the other side. Just turn it up like so. Now these corners of the underarm will be very secure and it prevents them from stretching. So I finished both and I'm going to need a few centimeters more and then start the sleeves. I've needed a few centimeters and just want to add that it's a good idea at this point to place a marker of the middle of the underarm. In the next episode, I will share how to start the sleeves, how to securely and symmetrically close up the gaps and how to make the first decreases.